Good morning. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Morgan, welcome. I have been wanting to recreate this recipe, um, a double fried jerk chicken. It was a mixture between Korean fried chicken and Jamaican jerk chicken. Before we do all that, I need to actually go ahead and brine my chicken. Like when you cook something with pepper and then all of a sudden you just start coughing and you cannot stop coughing. <clears throat> That's scotch bread. I didn't put one in there, y'all. I didn't I didn't expect it to do what it's doing, but she in here. She in the atmosphere. Why do I always look so orange? I don't get it. Why? That's so much better. Okay, I think it's actually the lighting outside. Um, what we just did was we made a brine. Um, I am Jamaican. We marinate meat, we marinate cake, <laughs> cherries and raisins to make rum cake. A year in advance. I mean, we like to marinate. And so for me in particular, this is a part of my culture. But however, when I went to culinary school, I learned a different technique. The reason why I like to brine my wings, it's not necessary, you can completely skip the step, but it adds so much extra flavor without me having to let my meat marinate overnight. Not to mention, the brine is going to add moisture and it's going to tenderize the meat. And that's why I love brining. So we're going to go ahead and put these wings into our brine and let it marinate for about two to four hours. In my brine, I have brown sugar, salt, ginger, lemon, thyme, scotch bonnet. I also have Thai chili peppers in there. And I do believe I also added garlic. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our jerk barbecue sauce. Uh, this is going to be a tamarind jerk sauce. So the star of the show today is my tamarind paste. If you go to the International Isle in your grocery store, 9 out of 10 times, you'll see little balls of tamarind. Like, it's like tamarind like smoothed out into a paste. They add sugar to it. It's kind of a treat that we tend to eat. I'm not a fan. I like tamarind the way it is. Um, a tamarind is a fruit that is native to Africa. It is a leguminous pod similar to the shape of a pea. Tamarind has the capacity to be very sweet when it is ripe and very sour when it is not ripe. And so if you like sour candy, she could be your girl. If you like sweet candy, she could be your girl. If you like in between, she could also be your girl. By far one of my favorite things. And so when I was coming up with this recipe, I wanted to do something different. You guys know for the most part, I love to fuse Asian, styles of cooking and techniques with Jamaican flavors and I like to come together with that and so this was just a really good homogenous mix you're gonna you're gonna get the crunchiness of the chicken and then you're gonna get the sweet slash sourness of the tamarind with the spiciness of the jerk seasoning it is just an amalgamation of flavors and I promise you you're gonna love it all right so let's get into it in this blender I'm going to add my wet ingredients on the bottom and then build with my dry ingredients on top that way when I flip it over it'll all blend seamlessly if you have a food processor works very well now here's the thing with this recipe you literally could just get tamarind jerk seasoning and barbecue sauce and call it a day Typically when I make this recipe, I make everything from scratch, but this is kind of semi-homemade. This is a simplified version of my jerk paste. In the bottom of this mixer, go ahead and add about two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, lime juice, my brown sugar, allspice, ginger, and nutmeg, garlic, onion, green onion, thyme, lemon zest, tamarind paste, and scotch bonnet. Typical jerk sauce, nothing too crazy. I'm going to take this and cook it down by a third on the lowest heat setting for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alrighty, time of truth. Here is our chicken. I actually need this container to fry the chicken in. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. But that smells so good. In order to make our dredge, we're going to add one cup of flour, two cups of cornstarch, and whatever type of seasoning you prefer. I opted for garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. So here we have our chicken wings. I basically took them out of the brine. They've been sitting in the brine for four hours. To our wet mixture, we're going to add one egg, one third cup of the flour mixture we just created, as well as sparkling water, and mix that together. So, this is a lot. <laughs> I completely forgot how hard it is to do a voiceover. Anyway, we're going to take our already dredged chicken wings, we're going to coat it into the flour mixture, and then fry it. Wing, flour, 
fry. Y'all see the stance? That's how you know it's serious. Anyway, we're gonna fry this twice. So, when you take her out the first time, she's going to be a bit pale. But then, you're gonna let her rest, and then you're gonna fry her again. Once you fry her again, she's going to be crispy, she's going to be golden, she's going to be juicy, she's going to be all of the things, I promise. So we're getting to the point where it's getting dark outside, so we kind of need to hurry up and finish this video. As you saw, the first and second fry, lovely results. Look at that. Look at crunch. Here is my jerk sauce. I thinned it out with about a fourth cup of honey. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just, if you don't want it to be sweet and you want it to be strictly spicy, remember that this is a barbecue and so it was never meant to be like stupid spicy. So this is what we have so far. That looks amazing. I really don't wanna to touch it because it looks so good. It's sweet, <laughs> it's tangy, it's juicy, it's flavored all the way down to the bone. And it has a little kick, but the kick is not, I don't know it's because I cut it halfway with the honey. The kick is there, but it's not like in your face. <laughs> and so you taste that, and this is so good, I'm sorry. Definitely a different way to have jerk chicken if you wanted to do jerk, but you don't have a, a grill, and but you want something different. Try it this way, I promise you, you will not regret it. The heat is still there, the flavor is still there. You get a little sweetness because it's a barbecue, and then you get a little crunch. All right, y'all, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit down and eat this and have a beer. Um, so yeah, that's all. And I can't wait to like cook for my friends or have like one of my friends who's a chef be on here and cook together. I'm gonna teach you some of their recipes. Can't wait for that day to come. But for right now, it's just us. My friends are a little more seasoned in the game because they've worked in kitchens. I did not. I went straight for the money. And the money is not in the kitchen. Let me tell you that. It might be now, but it wasn't back then. All right, y'all. See you guys later. Bye.